What's up guys, Coach T from Condor Baseball. Today's whiteboard session is about some baseball IQ. Here's what I'm gonna talk about. So this is something maybe a little bit more of advanced play, um, something for you know some older kids, but this is to give an idea of where your positioning is on a fly ball. Whose ball is whose, who is supposed to cover where your zones. So basically helping you identify zones. So our catcher, ball goes in the air, our catcher, has about that territory, right? Our first baseman has about that territory. Our second baseman, right there. Our shortstop, right there. Third baseman, right there. Left fielder, he can get some balls in. Center fielder has the biggest coverage and then right fielder, right? Then anybody catching balls down in the corner. And now, tricky one. For younger players, I would say continue to have the pitcher field his position, and this would be the pitcher's zone right here in the center. Um, for older guys where you want to get the pitcher out of there, your zones would just be coming in a little bit further. But the key is shortstop is the captain of the infield within a certain range. You know, again, he shouldn't be going too far over to second base. He shouldn't be really going too far over to third base. But really, anything in this area, he has precedence, except for if the center fielder comes in and meets him right here. Same thing with the second baseman. So typically, your shortstop and your second baseman are your better athletes for the most part. Not always the case, but that's typically they're the fastest or quickest. So they have a little bit more range to cover. Outfield always has precedence coming in. Shortstop has primary on the infield, then I would say second base, and then obviously you've got your corners. And then anytime these corners can come down and make a play in here, that's better. Get that catcher out of there, especially at the younger ages. Harder to get the mask off, harder to see those things. Um, and, you know, being able to spin around the right way, it's a little bit harder for a younger guy to do that. So I would say, you know, for, for the younger ages, as much as this can come down, Get, then that's more of a first baseman or a third baseman's ball in the air. Again, we're talking about pop-ups. So at older ages, obviously the catcher is going to be able to lock that down a lot better. So hopefully that helps. I've seen a lot of drop balls, dropped uh, fly balls in the infield at all ages over my career of coaching, and it's due to communication. So the key is, is you know, ball right here in the center of everybody. That's where your ball is. That should be the shortstop's ball. Everybody should know that's the shortstop's ball, including the shortstop. So the shortstop should be moving that way, calling it, and everyone else is staying back. Maybe the second baseman goes and covers second base, but everyone stays away. And, you know, shortstop, 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 whatever his name, you're calling out his name. But if you're not, if you're not making that play, then you need to not communicate. Because if you say yours, 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 it may sound like mine, mine, mine when you've got all these people out there and all these things going on around, you know, around you. So uh, if you're not going after the ball, don't say anything. Let the person that called it, let them have it. And you just stay away. Don't step closer to them. Don't continue to leak into where the ball is. Stay stationary, out of the way. Give them plenty of space and just stay quiet. So, um, but the key to fly balls and fielding fly balls, and even these right out here, right just beyond the infield, that needs to be that left fielder, that center fielder, that right fielder's ball. Um, but at the end of the day, if the shortstop can get there, and call it off an established position, then the left fielder needs to stay back and let the shortstop take that ball. But the key with catching balls in the air is communication because no one wants to be here and then get plowed into from the back, the side, the front, whatever. No one wants to be doing that. No one wants to get injured. No one wants to injure their teammates for sure. So key is communication that is crucial on fly ball situations. Hopefully that helps. Stay tuned for the next whiteboard session.